Hello everyone, this is Mr. John from AK Dragonfish 3D. And today I'm talking about blade. Blade re re-upping, re re refitting. Okay, so I bought these blades here. This pattern here. And uh I believe Cabela's a few years back. Just in a blades kit, right? This is the pack of pack of pack of blades, six blades, I think paid five bucks, I'm not quite sure. This is a few years back. So they've kind of gone worn down a little bit and the and the uh I don't know. Never really found interest. But I'm gonna go ahead and again there were six, so I'm gonna go ahead and refit them, right? So I've already refitted one as a practice. It's not the greatest, but it's it's the concept, right? Right? So so what you need is some some glitzy reflective paper right i mean look how shiny that is right and you can get these in a big massive pack and probably your local fish shop or maybe maybe on on amazon ebay etc right come in, come in a variety of different shapes sizes colors probably a church probably an art store not sure but you get these right and uh i've already kind of did some prep work here so I sanded them down the best I can. I'm a hand, I'm a hand tool kind of guy. So I sanded it down so, so it smooths both sides, right? So I'll go ahead and work with this one, right? And then uh, you take your strip, and what you do is you, you draw the shape on the back, right? So you just take it, and you push down on one side, and you, you kind of draw, draw that. And then you push down on the, the opposite side. The opposite side and then you draw again right and what you do is you end up with two two egg shapes do it twice on a strip of this and you end up with two egg shapes right so you cut these egg shapes out the best you can it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be right because it is what it is right so you cut them out to the shape of your blade that you've drawn on the back of the paper So there's one again doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be right fish aren't aren't humans they don't see perfection right they don't see super perfect oh my goodness it's got to be super perfect and don't mind the birds in the background birds are birds they're mad because it's 9 30 10 o'clock at night and here i am with the light on when they're trying to sleep because Mr. John's a jerk when it comes to the birds, but bird, birds are jerks back, so it's it's a love-hate relationship with me and my birds. So in any case, there we go. We got two, two, and if you notice, they, they mostly line up with the blade, but again, we're just trying to sh change the blade from this to this, right? Right, so the blade's got a curve to it, if you notice, you know, like... That's Colorado blades, some willow blades. So you got to give it some nips, right? You got to give it some nips. Unfortunate enough, this one is checkerboard, so I know where some some lines are, right? I normally give it one in the middle and two on both sides. Kind of do that whole uh, maple leaf cut. Cut it so it looks like a so it'll be like a, a maple leaf. So that way, when you peel it from the paper. And you stick it to the spoon or the blade it will curl down without causing any wrinkles so you know because of the cuts it just lays down nice and pretty you know like I said my cuts not the perfect and ain't the greatest in the world I'm sure there's some people out there like oh my goodness he's such a horrible cutter you know what you know what? I want to see you post a video about this then you're gonna criticize me let's see there you go there's one side right and and there's one side right i mean we're going from this to this right so to show a transition point we started here we sanded it down we cut the paper we put it on now i could stop here easy peasy just leave it back the white side right but you know I'm going for I'm going for for max flash here max presentation 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the back side. Why not? I cut it, right? Might as well use it. And then you peel it. Ah, no. And then again, stick it. I recommend just starting at the top of the spool. Line it up best you can. All right? Start at the top of the spoon and just roll your finger down. Oh, that got a little little crooked. I got a little crooked. A little, little more in crooked. I'm trying to cover the white at the very least, right? Now, I could have went and got my Dremel out of the garage and brought it in the house. Made a whole bunch of noise at like 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so at night. But I figured, you know, I'll just hand sand these things down. So I got some 200 grit sandpaper, hand sanded them down, and life was good. And there we go. There we go. Take some scissors, trim the edges, any, any tape sticking out. And this stuff's fairly self-adhesive. So I've, I've never had any problems with it, with it uh, in in the past, coming off the lures after after any significant amount of fishing. So there we go, right? And then you take a hobby knife or a pencil, or whatever, and find the hole, find the blade hole, and just kind of cut the blade hole out, right? And again, I'm not for. I'm not for professionalism. It's not like I'm gonna. This is for for my self entertainment, and I'm doing this to show y'all that it's you don't have to throw throw a good blade away when you're done, right? So you can just kind of carve the hole free, and Bob's your uncle, right? There you go. So we started here and we sanded it down there and then we, you know, red and blue respectively. And just take your piece of scrap paper and push them aside. And then, oddly enough, you get these, these scraps, right? Well, lo and behold. And of course, the box I need is under the camera. So we're gonna raise the camera up a little bit. I got a blade, I got a really old blade. Really old willow blade, I pulled off a lure a long time ago. If I can get it out of this box here, All right? Look at that ugly, ugly thing, All right? So again, I mean, you could do the same thing, right? I could take these scraps. I could even just cut the strip and put it on there. All right, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little, a little further here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take this, 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 and we're gonna glitz it up a little bit, right? I'm gonna take it. And again, it's got a, it's got a spoon spoon to it so you gotta lean down try to save some of this paper here and just just kind of doodle on the back of the paper right you get the shape and you cut the shape out Glitzy tape. This is a scale, scale shape to it, right? So you put it over the top like so, and you lay it down. Get it in camera here. Put the glitzy over the top, and you lay it down, and you stick it down all nice and pretty, like. Push it down and smooth it out. And there you go. Yeah, I lined that up wrong. That's fine. It's principle of the point. It sticks out. This particular tape has a little bit of see-through, so you can see the green that used to be underneath it. Shining through. And trim the edge. And again, I could probably stop here, but I'm going to do the other side. 
Just kind of smooth it out and there you go. I went from that ugly color to that nice shiny, shiny color. And then, you, then you're ready to put it on a, put it on your spinner or on your, your, whatever you happen to put a, put a spinning blade on. Some people use them for, for making a flasher, flasher leads. Some people put them on spinners. Uh, you got hoochies. Hoochies are pretty popular in Alaska. A uh, hoochie is uh, a squid, a small squid on the line with some, some beads. And then, uh, then with a spinner up top. So almost like a spill, almost, yeah, kind of, yeah. Almost like an inline spinner, but online, right? Hoochie rigs are pretty popular, so I hear. So, either case, oh, look at that. Flash, flashy, flashy, right? And you take, the, take it off again, peel it off, again, doesn't have to be super perfect because fish aren't critical art, art people, now if you are one of those critical art people then that's all you, that's, I, I'm, as long as it gets the job done, right, and there we go, trim the edges, the edges punch the hole with a with a with the, uh, where the clevis will go my hobby knife isn't the sharpest in the world that's fine All right And yeah, still might not be a perfect, but you know what? It's a hundred times better than it looked when I pulled it out of that box, in my opinion. So you ever find yourself needing to jazz up a jazz up a lure? I mean, you can even go ahead and take. There's a box of a box of blades. I mean, you can even go ahead and just take a blade. And put a stripe on it, right? I mean, look how much more pizzazz that would look going through the water. Right? If you got a dull blade and you need to jazz it up. Reflective tape. Uh, so, with that said, I hope you found this informative, intuitive, and uh, go on out there, get her done. Make some, make some yourself. Improve your fishing. And uh, always remember, fishing's life. For everything else, just coffee. Thanks for watching, and happy fishing.